Happy Friday, sweet stampin' friends. Deborah Harrison here with Simply Sweet and Ink Designs. And guys, I'm so happy that you are joining me to do a little crafting today, just to kick off your weekend with some creativity. Um, as you hop on, say hello. Let me know who is on here with me. And in fact, let me make sure I have my comments turned on so I can see you as you say hello. If you're coming back and watching the replay, just stop by, say hello, let me know that you were here. So guys, uh, this week I have been working on the uh, Share a Milkshake mystery boxes. So if you ordered one of those, I have them ready for pickup if you're here locally. In fact, I think almost everybody has picked it up locally. And uh, I'm going to start mailing those out. Uh, hopefully, I'll get them all out in the mail to you tomorrow. So really fun box. Um, it, I am going to be doing the reveal. Let me go ahead and switch cameras here. Uh, I am going to do the reveal of the box. So if you are not familiar with my mystery boxes, it is basically it is a box full of some mystery projects, products, and some little fun treats for you, like some little like, pillow gifts. And so I, next Friday, I will reveal and show you the inside of this box. But this week we are going to, for our project, we're going to make just a really simple, fun, just a little uh, bottle tag to put on a thing of, uh, like bottle of water and just a little lemonade pouch, little crystal light there. So before I do that, I wanted to show, let you know what is happening in February so that you can stay connected. Hi, Maria. Thanks for joining me. So in February, I do have my Sweet Creations Club, and it is focusing on the Sweet Citrus Bundle. And in fact, that's kind of what today's project is based on is the Sweet Citrus Bundle, because I really, I love that. I love that bundle. It's a fun bundle to work with. If you're not familiar with my club, it is a monthly subscription club where every month, whatever club project kit I have for that month gets automatically billed to you and then you get it in the mail. You don't have to think about registering. Um, if you're kind of curious what a club project kit looks like, you are welcome to try it out for one month. It is $39 and that includes shipping, the pre-cut project supplies, as well as about $20 in consumable products So and the PDF tutorial, of course. So you can try it out for one month, see if you like it. If you would like to continue, then you can subscribe monthly and and then when you are a subscriber for at least six months, I'm going to send you a fun little gift valued about $25. And there's some other little club perks as well. Now, my February Stampin' Bunko, we do play Bunko online for Stampin' Up! product prizes. And we make a couple of projects. It, uh, the projects for February are using the Share a Milkshake bundle. Not that you have to have the bundle, but if you do, it's helpful. And actually, this is almost full. I opened it up the other day, and I think I only have a few spots left. So if you would like to register, hop on. You can check out the link that I have posted here in uh, this video, and you can sign up. And let's see, what else do I have? Oh, yes. Before we get started, I wanted to share who the winner is is from last week's share, and that is Deborah Anderson. She shared over on YouTube, so so thank you, Deborah. I do have a Deborah Anderson on my email list. I'm pretty sure it's you. So uh, I'm gonna double check and reach out to you just to make sure so that I can get your address and mail you your Scenic Garden Host stamp set. Now, if you share this week, I do have just a fun little packet of the opaque adhesive back gems. Uh, this is actually a, a just really, really sparkly and fun selection of gems to use in your projects. All right. So as you know, on uh, each week, if you're on my email list, you will get the tutorial, the project sheet for what we're doing today. Today's project, really simple. It's only one page and it has all of the supplies that I am using as well as the measurements and some pictures to kind of help you along. Now, the uh, when I was designing for the February Sweet Creations Club, I knew that I wanted to use the uh, Sweet Citrus Bundle, but I really wasn't sure what I was going to do for my background paper. And so I was kind of perusing through the catalog because we don't have a designer series paper that's citrus, right? And so I thought, well, I could design my own, but I don't like to do that. I like to use the pretty paper that Stampin' Up! offers. So I was looking through and I really knew that I wanted to create limes and lemons, oranges and uh, like the grapefruit. And so I knew what colors I wanted to use. So I started going through the catalog and I found in the Enjoy the Journey collection, all the colors that I was looking for. So if you have your catalog, this is on page 58 and 59 of the catalog. And as you see, it's got a lot of the citrus colors that uh, I was looking for. 
And so I'm going to show you what it looks like. I'm going to show you what it looks like on one side, because when you look at it, you probably would, it wouldn't jump out and scream at you and say, oh, use this for citrus product projects. But it actually worked really well. If you don't, if you kind of take away the landscape theme and you flip them over, you've got a lot of really great citrus colors to use. So if you don't have a particular designer series paper, just rifle through what you have and look for certain colors. And a lot of times that can help you and you can find what you're looking for. So these are the projects that uh, you will be making in the February Sweet Creations Club. And then I thought it would be fun just to do a little tag, a uh, little bottle tag today. Let me go ahead and move these out of the way. All right, so we're using the Sweet Citrus Bundle and the, uh, the stamp set and the dies. And what's really cool is this time, the dies have a companion embossing folder. And so what's really cool is you when you stamp and then you can die cut and you can also emboss in just three different steps and stuff. And so it's a really awesome, fun little bundle there. All right, so the supplies that we're gonna need, I'm gonna move, let me tell you about the water bottle first. So for my belly band here, uh, my belly band, is about one and a half by nine inches and that's not in the instructions because it seems like a lot of different bottles companies they change the di the width of this band here so you're just going to have to kind of gauge based on what your bottle looks like so just kind of just take that as a guide mine was one and a half by nine inches but yours may be different so for the actual tag itself, what we're going to need is a piece of Daffodil Delight cardstock, and this measures two and a half by eight and a half inches. And then what I did is I scored it at two inches, I've got a little score line there, and then I moved down to six and three quarter inches and I scored again. So what I did is I went in ahead and I die cut out a circle. Now my circle measures about one and a quarter across. You can punch the circle, you can use one of your uh, circle dies, whatever you have that's generally about one and a quarter inches, whatever will fit over your bottle cap will work. And so basically I'm just gonna burnish that to create the little hang part. So we've got that part. Now what I wanna do is I wanna take some of that pretty designer series paper and this piece measures two and one quarter by four inches. Now you will notice it does not go down the whole length of the way. I could make it longer if I wanted to, but I wanted, I wanted to conserve my designer series paper. So as long as it's long enough, so when we fold this over, it covers that edge, we're totally fine. So we're just gonna glue that piece on. I'm gonna come back here in a moment and look at your comments. I find that if I try to read them while I'm doing the project, I tend to make more mistakes. So if you'll bear with me, I will come back and look at your comments. All right, so now that we have the designer series paper on, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold over this bottom flap and I'm gonna burnish it. And then I'm gonna take my stapler and I want my staples I want the unfinished, the raw side of my staple to be on the front. I know that sounds funny, but I'm going to cover it in a minute because I don't want people to snag their fingers on the, on the raw edge of the staple. So I'm going to do the same thing for the other side on the other edge. And I'm just going to staple. And as you see, I have my raw ends of my staple on this side. And that's totally okay because what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover it with this label. Now, this label is from one of our new die sets called Something Fancy Dies. And I just die cut it out in basic white cardstock. And then I'm going to pop it up with some dimensionals. And I'm probably going to go ahead and put four dimensionals across just to give it plenty of stability. Going to put that right there and then what I'm going to do is I am going to do some stamping. I think it's time to stamp. Now I have personally found with this particular uh, sweet citrus stamp set it is best to use the Stamparatus and I don't pull this out often and it is an awesome tool. I really should use it more than I do. 
So if you are not familiar with the Stamparatus, I'm going to do a quick tutorial, if you'll bear with me. Uh, I know plenty of you on here probably already know how to use it. But what you're going to do is you're going to take your cardstock. In this case, I'm using basic white. Actually, I'm using thick basic white. And so in with the Stamparatus comes two magnets. And I like to cover my magnets with some um, duct tape so that they're easy to pull off with a little tail there. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hold my cardstock down with the magnets. And then what I'm going to do is I have already placed on one of the plates, I have placed the outline for the fruit pieces. So I am just going to take my ink pad and I'm going to stamp. I may need to move my magnet a little bit. So then I'm going to stamp. And what's nice about the Stamparatus is if I don't like how it's stamped, I can always stamp again. I think that turned out fine. I'm not too concerned about that. Now here's when it really comes in handy to have the Stamparatus. This is all one piece. So what we're going to want to do is lay down our other, our little fruit part, the center parts of our fruit, position it the best we can. And then I'm going to take the other plate that comes with the Stamparatus. I'm going to just push down and I'm going to pick up that other stamp. So now I know exactly where I want it positioned. And so I'm going to stamp the inside part of the fruit. And I kind of want, ooh, I guess I didn't do that one very well. Like right there, I totally missed the rind. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to stamp a little bit more there so that I can get that finished. See, that's what's beautiful about the Stamparatus. If I make a mistake, I can go back and I can re-ink and then it goes right back where I had it the first time. All right, so now that we are done with our stamping on this part, let me move this out of the way. I am just going to take, and where I've got some room, I'm going to use Granny Apple Green, and I'm going to stamp the leaves. And I'm just using whatever sections I have available here on my paper. And then we're going to take the Melon Mambo ink pad, and I'm going to stamp the large flower that's in the stamp set. Again, just wherever I can find room. Now, in the middle of the flower, there is a tiny little dot. So I am going to stamp my little dot right here in the middle. And then that will complete all the stamping we need to do today. Now, what you'll do, what's beautiful is this stamp set. Look at this. Is this not awesome? You can take and you can die cut out all four of those fruits with just the one die. And then, of course, you would die. And then we're going to die. You would die cut your leaf and your flower. But a little bit of movie magic here. And I have already die cut those pieces for us. Now, another cool thing about this set, the embossing folder comes as part of the dies. And so what you can do is you can go in and you can lay these pieces down in their corresponding places. I'm trying to see, where are they? There it is, it's right here. And let's see, we've got one there. And we have this one here. And so you can die cut, I mean, you can emboss each of these pieces. And when you do, I don't know if you can see that, you get a really cool embossed, realistic effect. I think you can see it better on the back side. So what I'm gonna do is I've already embossed this. I did it ahead of time. And so we're going to, unlike this one, I didn't emboss this one. This one's unembossed and this one's embossed. So I think it's gonna be really cool to put on here. So I'm just going to pop these up with some dimensionals and I'm going to use some mini dimensionals as well. So we're just going to put this at an angle and then I'm going to put the leaf underneath. I'm going to slide that under and then I just want to accent it with the flower using a mini dimensional. I'm just gonna have it popped up right there. Now, what's really cool, there's two other things I wanna do. I wanna embellish. We gotta add a little bit of bling to our project. So what I am using, it, these are called iridescent pastel gems. 
And what is really cool about them, again, this is when I'm going through the catalog, trying to find things that are going to work with my citrus product projects. And so I noticed that even though this is Calypso Coral, it picks up beautifully on the oranges or the peaches or even like your sweet sorbet. It can pick, it can pull those colors out. This right here is actually balmy blue, but when I put it next to a green, it actually picks up on some of the green. And then, of course, they call this gold, but to me, it kind of looks clear. So it's kind of a general purpose one that I can use. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of bling. And so I'm going to use the balmy blue, but when I put it on, it's actually going to look a little bit like the green. And so we're just going to add that here in some sections. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a single surf crystal light. You can find this in the grocery store. They usually come in a 10 pack. And so we're just going to insert that into our little pocket. And then we're going to hang it on our bottle. But the last thing I want to do is I want to add one more thing, and that is the twine. Now, this is actually this twine. It comes in the three combo pack it's got three different colors but i pulled out the green and i'm just going to add it on with the glue dot right there at the top to finish our project oops i don't think i grabbed my glue dot i did not let's grab the glue dot There we go, guys. There it is. So tell me, I personally like it better embossed. I don't know how well you can see that, but isn't that cool how you can really make that lemon pop? So guys, thank y'all so much for joining me. Like I said, really quick project today. And I'm going to check your comments real quick just to see. You can cut emboss and cut at the same time. Yes, that is true. How cool. Let's see. What else do we have? Oh, so many of you joining. I love it. Thank you, guys. I'm seeing if there's any questions here. Oh, thank you, Lisa. I'm glad you like the colors I use. That was It was kind of a tough to figure out what I wanted to go with. But anytime you have something in mind and maybe you don't have that perfect paper, just think of what colors you want to use and just start scouring your catalog to see what, color, what products we have that actually have those colors. All right, guys, so I am delighted that y'all joined me, and I hope that y'all have a wonderfully blessed weekend, and we will see y'all next Friday. Take care. Bye, guys.